let's take a look here at sentient life and non-sentient life. The animals have eyes and ears and brains. The plants do not. Take a good look at this anatomy of a, the tomato plant. No brain, no heart, no lungs, no nerve endings for the capacity for um, pain as well. Take a look at the anatomy of this tree. No kidneys, no bladder, no intestines, no brain, no heart, no tissue, no bone, no eyes, no ears. And now look at this anatomy of a rainbow trout. Eyes, brain, heart, bladder, intestines. Very similar to humans, huh? You see, we have a brain, so we feel pain. We have bones and tissue and nerve endings and liver. A little shrimp has a brain just like us. And all the other little working organs, totally aware of its existence. Look at the similarity of pigs and humans, the anatomy. We even use pig heart valves for humans as a transplant. There are people walking around with pig parts in their body. Here's the human brain, the pig brain, and the rodent brain. All three very similar, different in size. Show me the brain on a plant. Show me a plant that bleeds red blood. Who else bleeds red like us? The animals. They suffer like us. This isn't bleeding. This is sap oozing. Sap that runs nutrients and water throughout the plant so it can survive. It's non-sentient life. Here's fresh maple. This little girl's just indulging here. Fresh maple right out of the tree. Would she indulge in fresh blood right out of the carcass? If sap and blood are the same thing? Mm -mm, she wouldn't. I'm looking here. I don't see any eyes, ears, brains, hearts, kidney, livers, intestines, nerve endings. I see beauty. I see colors that trigger emotion. But I don't see sentient life. I see beautiful sea plants. This particular type of seaweed used to wash up on the shores of the beach when I was little and I'd pop those little air pockets on it for fun. And you know what? I'd never dream of popping this little fellow's eyes just because they're round and bulgy. Why? Because he has a brain. He feels pain. He would swim away as best as he could. He would avoid the pain. Like this little fellow here. Listening, smelling, looking out for predators. Gotta be careful when you're a little rodent like that. Out in the wild. Heck, you have to be careful anywhere when you're a rodent in this world. Look at this guy here. He's thinking something. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something and I don't care if you don't like it, okay? And you're gonna listen. He's like, I don't want to listen. Please don't tell me no. No, he's just probably giving himself a little bath. Making himself comfortable. We bathe. Animals bathe themselves too. In a different way. Here, these two. Showing emotion, affection to each other. Hearing each other, smelling each other. Aware. Animals tell jokes to each other just like us. This guy's cracking himself up. This this guy over here is pretending like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> cause this one forgot that he already told the joke to the guy. Here's a mother with her baby. Her eyes are closed. Just soaking it in. Adoring her baby. Like us mothers do with our firstborn or newborns. This one's whispering sweet nothings into... It's sweetheart's ear. Oh, honey, stop. They are sentient. They are aware of their existence. If I hear one more person tell me that there's a tree out there that has a brain, 
or plants get depressed when other plants die, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll tell you what, if plants and trees can feel pain, then guess what, folks? I'm a freaking unicorn, okay? <laughs>